What is going on guys? I am Endless Win. Welcome to Endless Win's video. Yay, Endless Win. <laughs> Season 1, episode, we'll call it 15 today of Minecraft Feed the Beast single player series. Woohoo! Um, so I got back to the house. It was raining by the time I got here, slept through the night, and the sun is out, and it's a pretty day in the overworld. Um, so it's almost noon. I was kind of messing around doing nonsense, as usual. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. So the first thing I did before even going in the house or anything is I started planting these down. Uh, the inner lilies grow better in in stone, but we don't have any of that stuff. Um, so we're just going to plant them in the grass for now. We can put a watering can on them and water them, but that doesn't really help. So probably what I'll end up doing is just uh, hide in the house. Um, probably make a better door so the zombies can't beat it down. Um, hide in the house and leave the computer up and running for an hour or something like that. So those, those will grow up. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get a video, um, basically what's going to happen, uh, long story short, we're already out of, out of lava in the top, we're out of lava in the, uh, fluid duct, and we're running out of lava in this one, so there'll be lava in, in this fluid duct as well, double the amount, obviously, because it's two fluid ducts, and then there'll be lava in this, uh, magmatic dynamo, um, so it is what it is, um, but we're going to do a few things, clean up, um, once... Once we have ender pearls, we'll make an ender tank. We'll suck some lava out of the uh, nether and never have a problem with lava ever again. Um, but that'll be probably the next episode. In this episode, I promised I was going to do a few things. I already made the balls of moss here. Um, it's just nine of the cobblestone pieces. Nothing special here. Um, real simple. So we do it just like that. So we're going to have two modifiers remaining on that bad boy. And that one goes there. We will have... Um, wrong order. We will have two modifiers remaining on this one because it has writable. Uh, even though we have the diamonds on there. So we had four. Um, so take it out of there. There we go. Uh, let's see. We don't have a sword currently, uh, which we might make one. But we're going to go ahead and do that on the, uh, the axe as well. We've got that, and then the hammer. We'll put that on there as well. Um, don't worry, I'm not getting into bees. I just, the scoop is still in the inventory. Um, and really, I don't know why I kept the scoop, other than to just be stubborn, because I'm stubborn. Um, so we've got to clean up a little bit. This is, you can see, I've got my diamonds, 25 diamonds. Uh, so it's so much nicer with with everything we've got cleaned up. I was looking at a little bit of the uh, Ars Magica off the camera. I uh, got some spells, some not important, really just to get uh, further along to other things, but did want to show y'all here under the uh, the affinity. This is a little new, um, but you see I'm pulling towards that way, uh, which is the pacifist, and the pacifist is not one that I want. I don't want to be a pacifist because every time you kill something, which I do a lot of killing, uh, you get sick. And getting sick, nausea, have to eat food, you know, that whole nonsense. Um, so I'm also slowly, real, real slowly, working over towards Harvester. Um, which is, again, I really, I just, I want to be well-rounded and try not get really any of these. Um, it's really snowed over here quite a bit, hasn't it? Nice. Um... It's nice to see that the uh, the snow is building. Um, so, had three of the blue skill points and one of the green skill points. Um, did frost damage. Might work into that. We'll look and see what freeze does. And uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But no spells just yet. Uh, we got our tools upgraded. And we were going to basically uh, spend the rest of the episode watching these grow. Just kidding. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest. Um, I had an idea, because I don't want to tear up this world too terribly much. So I had an idea. 
Um, basically, the overall goal is in inner pearls, inner pearls, inner pearls um, for inner tanks, uh, inner chest, and then quarry. Um, and I don't want to tear up this world with the quarry because it leaves a big hole in the ground. You got to fill it back up, and uh, I'm not going to do that. And inner quarry needs a lot more inner pearls than what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on a little bit of miscraft, which is um, yeah, miscraft. Um, so I don't think I can shift click miscraft in here so uh, not through up there at least so we'll go like this um, helps if I actually do that right it's at not capital a miscraft so to start out miscraft we're gonna need an ink mixer a book binder and we're gonna need a writing desk uh, all simple things all nice things there's one and that got rid of everything we'll do this again so we've got the ink mixer we've got no book binder we'll make some book binding stuff just need some wood probably should start thinking about a tree farm too hmm things to do things to do automations um, so back to miscraft at miscraft uh, book binder we've got that and one more time at miscraft don't know if we have everything for the writing desk we do okay uh, so we must have gotten rid of the book binder so cleaned out the inside of the house got rid of all those chests so we have more things to clutter it up with. Definitely gonna have to add to the house too. This is so far the biggest expansion and well we can't expand any further back unless we go down which that would just be stupid. So uh, level 25 so we've got another enchantment along the way. Did lose my helmet. Um, kind of saw that coming uh, through all the adventuring and everything. I'm taking a lot of damage on the uh, thaumaturgist robe so would not sure what we're gonna do. I would like to get into, and I'll show you the mod. Um, it is starts with a s right there. Um, so yeah, the uh, modular power shoot suit. It's epic, absolutely epic. Makes the absolute best power suit. Very modular, as in modular. Um, but that is uh, very resource in intensive. I can show you a little bit. Um, of some of the hello oh M A C there we go let's see it is somewhere around here yeah so just to give you a, this is just the suit itself it has nothing to do with adding all this fancy stuff to it this is just the suit itself with the iron uh, you know you need iron plates this IC2 stuff you know, not too bad, but, you know, this is the plating you want to put on each piece. Yeah, that, that gets a little crazy. Ion thrusters go in a lot of things. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but what goes into these? Oh, yes. It, it It's very, very, very intensive. You can see here, diamond dust, redstone dust makes this dust, and it, it's very, very extensive on, on the things that you want to do. Um... And then there's the power fist. So the whole thing you, t you can turn into Iron Man. Kind of cool. Um, so where were we? Miscraft. And the sun's going down already. So Miscraft. We'll clean out our inventory. We'll put all these nice things together and plop them down in the house. You can go there. Yeah. And then you can go there and you can go there sweet so we're gonna need paper and ink so we're gonna need squids plenty of squids around um, and we're gonna need paper plenty of sugar should probably go clean up the sugar here so I'll do a little bit of cleaning up and nonsense like that off the camera and I'll bring y'all back welcome back folks we've got some cool stuff uh, what I wanted to show y'all though was um, put that on our hot bar that one was really damaged, so it's going to take a little while. But you see there, it's uh, 
if you look up at the top it says uh, it's the item id pickaxe there it just went right there right there did you see it did you see it did you see it rewind it so you can see it it was at 82 it just went to 81 the higher it is the the, the number there at the bottom or at the end uh, 81 that means the more damage it is so the item id for this particular pickaxe pickaxe is 14307 and then 81 is the amount of damage uh, the auto repair from the moss took it from 82 to 81 so you can see that it's slowly working over time uh, the other ones they weren't as damaged so they're looking even better already so you can see uh, you know the hammer wasn't used at all when we were down mining now it's at 80 so you can see it takes a little bit of time but when you're out in the sun it goes by pretty quickly um, especially when you you know you go on a mining run you come back and you're running around doing this that this that you're out in the sun you know things are things are happening things are moving and your your stuff's getting fixed so no longer will we have to use our iron to to fix our our iron tools we've got things look at already at 79 things just flying flying by so uh, and then the closer it gets to the top of the it'll slow down a little bit but you know you can see this little progress bar it's gonna go by and by and by and and before you know it, we're gonna be all set so went out hunted a few squids um, and got what I needed so what I was gonna do is make a few of these ink files um, you can see it's the black dye which is just you know ink sacks uh, so real easy stuff to do uh, already filled up our water bottles and they're not wanting to stack so we're gonna have to do it like that uh, so there's one and then come here you and then we'll take our other water bottle so we're just making ink files uh, and I'll show you what we're doing them for them right now we're gonna take them in here we're gonna put them in there and boom we have ink fills it up nice and quick like uh, and then what we do here is we put a piece of paper and we're actually going to leave all that paper in there. And we pull out one of these linking panels or link panel. And this is currently unlinked. And what does that mean? Well, it means it, it doesn't go anywhere um, at all. I can click on it, eh, right clicking, nothing happens, nothing happens. What we need to do is we need some uh, books. We need to put this in a book. So I don't think I checked on my leather situation. Be right back. Sorry, back. I uh, had a little bit of leather, so it worked out. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we don't need to mess with this right now. Uh, we have a few miscraft pages, but we are going to just try our luck at creating a random world. Before we do that, there's something even more important we need to do. We need a way to get back from that random world. So, we have our link panel. We have leather. We have an unlinked linking book. It is unlinked. It means it does not go anywhere until you right click it. Now it is linked to home. So whenever we're out, we have that linking book to help us get back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop another vial and I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to get another link, uh, link panel, and I'm going to make another one of those because I just like to have backup. Uh, I'm crazy like that because getting stuck in a miscraft world is not fun uh, so we'll put that here and again same spot and what it does is it even the direction you're looking it will record it so when I come back I'll be looking at that door exactly where I was standing so don't put anything here just an FYI um, I've never tried it but you probably could get stuck in a wall and suffocate or something fun like that uh, so yeah, don't put anything where your linking books are going and every single one is going to be different So I could do it here or I could do it here So I'm pretty sure that I'm never going to put anything here uh, Because this I'll expand that way and this will be the entrance um, But the entrance will be pretty wide and open and right here just a few steps from the main door We won't have anything um, So we'll be okay anyways so we've got two linked books linked to the overworld you can see there it says overworld um, real easy stuff and we need one more link panel uh, so we're gonna get that out we've got our link panel now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put that there and we're gonna take a piece of leather and we're gonna put that there and you see here we have a descriptive book well what does that mean well you see achievement get one-way ticket we have a one-way ticket to a random age is what they call them here in this craft um, but 
whenever I use this, I'll let you in on a secret. It's going to fall on the ground. And it's any normal item when it falls on the ground, so it can despawn. So what we're going to want to create is, we'll bring up uh, Mr. Craft again, and we're going to want to create a lectern. And it's real easy. Lectern, book stand, same thing. I like the lecterns. They look kind of cool. Book stand looks weird. Like it should be a statue or something. I don't know. Uh, so we're just going to need some wood and a stick. I don't remember that stick being a part of that recipe. Okay. Mm, maybe I'm having a brain fart or maybe they added something to it. Um, but a lectern, see if I can spell it right. There we go, lectern, nonetheless. So uh, it'll give us two lecterns, which is perfect because that's what we're going to need. Because when we get there, we're going to want to put a lectern on the ground for um, the return. Because you're going to get there, you're going to want to come back, and your linking book's going to fall on the ground. If you put it on a lectern, which we'll do right now, uh, we'll grab just a little piece of something and put it on probably cobblestone because it'll be it oh we'll grab those actually just grab two and leave the rest here um, so we'll put one here in the house for the descriptive book and we'll just slap it right there for now put a lectern on top of it that window shouldn't be there anyways we'll take a, care of that eventually um, so descriptive book goes on top you can see age number two why age two well because we're in age one age one is the overworld um, so every book you create you can have another age another age you can actually change it uh, in this you can change the name of the age but I don't change the name of the age until I go there because if I name this you know tropical paradise and it's a glacier well that doesn't make much sense so uh, we have our two linking books we have our lectern to put it on we're gonna hop right back over so I'm not too worried about food or anything like that because we're just coming right back we're gonna check it out we're gonna slap our book down we might explore a little bit it's always raining it's always raining it's just it's what it is. so this is the world we're in um, not the friendliest of worlds uh, probably have a eternal storm and oh that's not very nice be right back okay that was uh, a quick thinking on my part. I had to take care of that dark mage. There were, because of the rain, there were um, endermen just flipping out, going everywhere. And then the zombies attacked. So, uh, yeah, famous last words of revolt. We won't need any food. Uh, we're just going to go there and come right back. So, um, so learn from me. Don't just, you know, think you can run in there because, like I said, you never know where it's going to spawn you. Um so let me get some food together. I'm definitely hurting on the food situation, um, but I'll get some food together and we'll come right back, guys. All right, here we go. Off to explore the age. Uh, looked like we had kind of a nether feel to it a little bit. Um, so, oh, these guys, they want to not play nice. So let's. It is definitely a hostile area here. Um, mobs everywhere, and it's not helping in the rain. Um, mobs everywhere. We might just call this one. <laughs> call this one never to return again. Uh, at least until we have that modular power suit. Um, but lucky for us, we can uh, pretty easily make another linking. Um, or a uh, another descriptive book, if you will. So what I'll do is I'll get the resources for that, which uh, shouldn't be too hard, and I'll I'll bring y'all back again. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully we can get a uh, little bit better of a deal going on. So we're gonna take. I might be out of leather. Which would be a bummer, because I didn't think about getting that again. So if I'm out of leather, well, we're out of leather. One piece left. Perfect. And while we're here, just to check, let's take this and we'll put it on our head, just so we have a little bit more protection. 
So we have a very good random. It actually looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool, but very random assortment of armor. So we'll take our leather again. We'll do that and that. Get another random descriptive book. And if we take this out, we'll put it in our inventory. There's age number three. Um, and then we have another linking book, which is good, but I'd like to have another. But I'll roll out this time without it just because I'm not going to cut the recording and go get more resources for it. So we'll make another lectern. That way we have something when we get there and something to put it on. You can just put it on the ground, but it's, uh, it's nice to have one little thing there for you. We'll put that right there. Hopefully we'll have a better spawn this time and they won't be so mean to us. I was just trying to visit them. They were just all of a sudden going crazy. So double checking, making sure we have our linking book. We got a little bit of food with us this time. A uh, random assortment of nonsense to go with us. And age number three, here we come. Raining again. It doesn't always rain. It always looks like it's raining. But, uh, these guys are nice, cuddly puppy dogs that are friendly. Um, more of the uh, netherrack everywhere. This one looks like a lot more of um, a nether generation, except it's you know, open and raining. Uh, we'll see how the mobs treat us. So hopefully... Ah, uh, this random um, assortment of biomes going on here. And it'll generate slowly. That is... I thought it... Okay, it was just uh, taking a second to generate. I thought that was a uh, elemental, a uh, lightning elemental, because it kind of looked a little weird like that. Probably not going to make too many friends when I start hitting them. Let's assume like that. Our friend the pigmen, they're not too bad. So this is almost exclusively looking like nether, um, except for, you know, random stuff here and there. There's a, uh, a nitro creeper, and he needs to be dealt with swiftly. Um, so we'll do this from a distance, because they blow up quicker than you would uh, If you ever mess with a mess with it, they blow, blow up extremely fast. They barely finish hissing and they're done. Uh, they've already blown up, so... I don't know if the explosion's worse, maybe. Um, this is kind of cool. This is a, uh, what they call a tendril, and it will go throughout the biome, up and down through the ground. And this particular one's made out of uh, wood, but you'll find ones made out of, you know, nether quartz or any, any sort of material. I've never gotten lucky enough to be like emerald or diamond. Um, and I think once you once you get that, you know, you're one Minecraft. If you can get a tendril running through, it's nothing but diamonds. But I saw a wisp up there, um, and I heard a zombie. And I don't see him. These guys are, are pretty cuddly, um, and you can actually kill them to get leather. And there's our zombie friend right there. So we've got a um, Nether generation as well as you know regular overworld generation. So. He was nice enough to go pretty easily for us. So definitely a weird random biome. And this one looks a little bit more friendly. So what I might try and do in this one is go and find an ancient... Hello. I know. You want to come say hi. Ancient library, which is full of papers. So let's slap this down. We'll get our lectern out. And we will put our... Linking book to the overworld right there. And these guys, ooh, he, these guys, that, not him, he's, he's not too bad, as I, you know, I'm dying to him. Uh, but the other dude, he, oh, I hate those things. They are absolutely horrible. Uh, so, if you heard that, another level. It was an odd level, so no scope on but another level on so we got our linking book to the overworld. Open up the map because it kind of is cheating and helps a little bit. But using the map, you can sometimes get lucky and see from the map view um, one of these libraries that we're looking for. So let's uh, let's try and explore a little bit after we eat. 
some food. And uh, if I find anything, guys, I'll let you know. Welcome back, guys. We are in luck. So, um, my sword is broken. So, I don't have anything to barricade this, this up with. Um, but, we are going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of these seeds here. Uh, but, we have a woodlands biome page. We have an oceans biome page. Most of the pages you will find will normally be biomes. Um, so, we're here in the ancient library. Um, destroying it. Um, so yeah, that's it, except it's not. Um, I'll teach you a little secret. It is right there. Uh, that's what you're looking for, and I'm actually going to break one up, because otherwise it's going to the chest. And so we have more pages here, always hidden, um, here in the, um, this little bad boy. So, more biomes and, and things like that. Nothing too exciting, um... But the more biomes you get, the, the better it does get about, you know, getting the potential to pick exactly what you want. Uh, so I'll just pick up a little bit of hooks here. And sword's broken, like I said, so we're going to head home uh, as quickly as possible. Um, home's that way. No. Home's that way. Something like that. Be right back. Welcome back, guys. We've gotten home. We're safe. Kind of. Um, so we picked up some random junk, mostly pages. These pages are really going to clutter up, uh, our AE system. So probably in the next episode we'll make a notebook for them, but for now what we're going to do is just put them away. Uh, and we'll check real quick. We've got 40 types, uh, on the, the 1K, so we might have an issue here getting everything else in, uh, but probably be okay. Um, definitely doing okay on the amount of data that are being stored on these bad boys. Uh, got a ghastly soul, little phantom thing, attacked me, lifted me up in the air. Luckily, he put me uh, on top of one of those little bone things sticking out of the ground, so I kind of got lucky with that. Uh, otherwise, he would have not killed me, but hurt me pretty good uh, as I was trying to kill him. Uh, but I won. He lost, so haha. -ha. Uh, more string, more nonsense. Um, so, yeah. There's miscraft for you guys. So I'm going to do this. Actually, I'll probably... Well, they're already growing, kind of. Um, I'll actually be in the house kind of waiting for these things to grow a little bit. Like I said, maybe do a better door. Um, that way they can't break it down. And, yeah, fun times ahead. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. And if you did, I hope you like and subscribe. And if you didn't, well, do it anyways because I said so. And I'll see you in the overworld.